Hi there folks, welcome back to the Over and Andy Fishing Channel. I am Andy. Hi B here. And IB's got something in her hand that we think is going to revolutionise lure fishing forever. Uh, you know what it's like, we're always looking for that new lure, that advantage, that thing that's going to put fish on the bank. And Amazon have told us what it is, haven't they? Have they? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I find it really weird. We found something totally obscure on Amazon that they've hyped up as being freaking awesome. But I have a feeling it might not be. What it might we, not be very awesome. What have we got, Ivy? <laughs> we have this electronic uh, battery powered fishing lure that actually moves and does everything for you. Apparently, it has a little bit of vibrating as well. That's the theory, anyway. Yeah, it's a really weird looking thing. Uh, and battery powered. I've never had a battery powered lure before. In fact, I've never had a lure that comes with a screwdriver before. So that was kind of cool. But we thought we'd bring this down. We're, um, we're fishing on a place with plenty of pike in it. There's a bit of a dam wall for us to fish against. It should be good. This should be a good test of this lure, eh? Why not to try? Because, you know, only us two can come up with something as ridiculous as that. So we best get cracking, haven't we? We best get that screwdriver out and get rigged up. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Right, so the best stock moving lure off Amazon is pretty unique in that not only does it move weirdly and artificially, but you also have to use a screwdriver to rig it up. Let me just tell you what it says on the packet. So, new release, water activated, lifelike movements, AAA battery support. Kindly reminder, the package does not cover the battery. I think that means the batteries aren't included, so I and I bought one because we're very clever. This is going to be weird. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I think what we'll do is we'll get packing on straight away with that screwdriver. Lure out the packing. Now, it is a weird looking thing. It's um, kind of jerkbait shaped, but it's got this soft tail that that's clearly where the movement's going to come from. The tail's going to wag. A couple of treble covers on there. That's quite nice to touch, actually. And then on the reverse side, you can see we've got this area here where the battery's going to go. We're going to pop that open. Right, so both screws out. Battery compartment open. Um, <laughs> if you can see in there, there's what looks like the remains of a waterproof seal kind of loose in the battery compartment, which doesn't fill me with hope. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely supposed to be attached. Batteries. Okay, so the batteries are in. Now, there's no stated weight on this lure, but I can tell you it's now twice as heavy as it felt before. I'd say around about 30 grams, maybe. Uh, I'm really, really worried about this seal not being on there, so I'm going to refit that and get it rigged. Okay, so that's screwed down as tight as I could possibly make it. Now, I have two confidence issues with this straight away. First confidence issue is it looks absolutely rubbish. <laughs> There's no getting away with it, it looks dreadful. Second confidence issue is that those waterproof seals do not look waterproof. I'll give this two minutes in the water before it starts glitching out. But we're going to debar those trebles and we're going to give it a throw anyway. That's it. That's the six quid Amazon Miracle lure rigged up, batteried up, debarred, ready to rock. IB, let's snap this on. Let's empty this lake of pike. Let's catch every single pike in Derbyshire. There it is. That's the killer. First thing I want to do, I'm desperate just to drop this in the edge and just see what happens. Let's have a look. That looks absolutely brilliant. Is that all that's going to do? I don't know. Have we done something wrong? I don't know. <laughs> I was a bit more hopeful than that, but... It doesn't even sink. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really do anything. We are going to be unstoppable, IB. You know that. We're going to be fed up of catching fish by the end of today. I'm going to assume for the moment that we've done something wrong. I think what we've probably done wrong is bring this with us. I don't know, I mean it didn't say on the listing whether it floated or sank or anything, so I think maybe I'll try popping those batteries back out for a second. Maybe I'll put the batteries in the wrong way around. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. I don't think it did. I don't think I'm quite that daft. Right, so it turns out I might be an idiot after all. One of the batteries wasn't quite snapped in properly. There we go, perfect. Absolutely brilliant. We'll try this one more time, I think, and then it's going in the bin. It works. The tail works. Until you release it. Yeah, yeah. But the problem here is that the, the battery port is too small for the batteries and they just end up popping straight out. 
Right, one last go. We've bodged a little piece of cardboard in there to try and keep the batteries in place. If it doesn't happen this time, it's going in the bin. This is it, IB. This is the one. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. So that has exceeded my expectations. So the 599 Bostec electric flapping battery powered lure. Junk. Should we use some proper lures, I'd be? Would I that be more fun? Let's just use some normal fishing. lures. And how did that go? Well, that went very, very badly. So the plan is we're going to ditch the crap Amazon lures. <laughs> Don't buy those things, they're bloody awful. And we're going to go and do some proper normal pike fishing with baits that actually work for a few hours. IB, what's your, what's your tactic to start with? My tactic today is to save the day, first of all. Second of all, I've put my trusty uh, lover racker shad. I've put a stinger on top um, just so I could bounce along the bottom without getting snagged and hopefully to get a few fish in it. I think that sounds pretty promising. With the water being coloured I've gone for debush because it's basically all I ever use these days. So between us I'd like to think we find a few fish. We give it a crack. <sighs> Let's do this. Do it. And then you go into your day on Sunday bright sunshine out there and it is going to be hot. I think it was like first or second cast or whatever well it wasn't a take I had the fish on I just didn't strike again and then I maybe like two minutes later I had another take and I had the pike on for a bit longer but again I didn't strike and then the bike was off where's this wind just come from I'm not sure yeah. all of a sudden it's gotten really windy so and yeah, cloudy yeah the weather's changed all of a sudden but a couple of takes in the first 10 minutes and I reckon Ivy's probably found the right way there by bopping that shad along the bottom I've not had a touch under bush so I don't think it'll be long before I change over and join IB on that one. I think she's cracked it. Should we find some more water? Let's go and explore some more water. Awesome. Right, well, sometimes it pays to just keep ringing the changes. I'd literally just taken that debush off and swapped it out for the rattle trout. I, I just, I could see Yeva was getting takes on that other presentation, so I decided to switch myself. It's no monster, but it's a nice fish to get off the mark with at least. It's still really fresh. Chunky as well, fat, it's clearly been feeding up. Very pale fish, exactly what you expect from a water like this. Let's get him to back. Really fat fish, it's almost square, it's like a carp shape.
That's a good one. Right, so only five minutes after that first fish, same bait, another one this time, a little bit bigger. It's a real chunk. Look how fat that is. Huge belly on it, it's clearly been feeding up pretty hard. It's just nicked on the, just nicked on the top hook there. And that is more like it. That's the kind of fish we we're hoping for out of today, that's for sure. Absolute beauty, very pale, typical for a water like this with coloured water. And I don't think it'll be the last one either. Come on IB, you're letting the side down, it's your turn now. So Andy, what's happening? Two fish in two minutes. I know, right? It's like, not... unlike you. <laughs> it's not, not like me at all, not recently anyway. Changing lure over to that rail trail has made a huge difference. I'm sorry if the wind's affecting the sound here. It is howling all of a sudden. As you can see from my <laughs> hair. Yeah, changing to that rail trail has made a huge difference. I've been able to fish it slower and lower than I could fish the debush. So I think that's going to be something that's going to be key going forward is trying to keep the baits down a little bit, which I know is difficult because it's really, really snaggy, isn't it? Really by the snaggy, edges. yeah. Really snaggy. But I'm happy with that. I think what we'll do is we'll crack on. I mean, the, the conditions are good. The winds are pain for filming, but We'll crack on, we'll see if we can get a couple more out. Let's do you this. You feeling confident? So confident. Let's Oops. do this. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, this is going pretty well, IB, isn't it? Again on that rattle trout. And the trick has been so far to fish it very, very slowly. Only a dink, but a heap of fun. Like I say, the trick has been to fish it, and all I'm doing is two wines, stop, let it drop, two wines, stop, let it drop. And I'm just getting very subtle indications, very subtle plinks on the braid. And they're all it takes. Let's get him back. Oh, wow. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> IB, if your luck was as in as mine is today, then I think we'd have done a cricket score between us. What's going on? Just can't set the hooks, apparently. Do I have a feeling it's something to do with the fact that you're on a fixed ball rod? IB's arm's still pretty sore, so she's using a fixed ball rather than a bait caster, a, a jerk bait rod. And obviously, the fixed ball rod is slightly lighter in the action, it's slightly softer, so I think it's harder to set the hooks with the big baits that we're using. I know, using like stingers as well, which probably a stinger at plus fixed pull rod. I don't know. I'm not giving any excuses. I hate excuses. So just not setting the hooks. That's all. Well, I've, I've had four and I think you've lost four or hooked four at the very uh, least. I've hooked three and lost three. Jeez. Yeah. So it could have been a really good day. We've still got loads of time left. We've still got at least an hour, haven't we, before we start yeah. losing the light. So I'm pretty sure we'll find a few more. I have just lost the rattle trout that did all the damage, which is really annoying. 
So I've had to switch over. What are you using at the moment? Uh, I'm using a Savage Gear Roach in red. Oh, but the, I don't, river, the River Roach. Yeah, but I don't really like it, so I'm going to switch back to the <laughs> Shad. Well, I've just stuck a Berber on, but I'm not convinced it's the bait for the day. You can try. I'll give it a go for five minutes, but I might join you on that Racky Shad. Let's go catch Let's some more fish. It. So Andy, what did you think about the most amazing, vibrating, self-moving, battery-powered lure? What a load of absolute rubbish. <laughs> it's such a shame. I had such high hopes for that lure yeah, and I don't did. know why. You did. I was like, it's not going to work. The second it turned up at the house, he was like, well, that's a piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're always such an optimist. Yeah, you're like, oh, yeah, it's definitely gonna work. It's definitely, it's gonna do something. And then when it didn't do anything, just flopped on its side. Yeah, I kind of, I, I was kind of expecting the electronic thing to not work great because water and electronics and cheap aren't usually a great mix. No. But I wasn't expecting it to just lie flat on its side <laughs> like that. Didn't even sink. <laughs> it just floated on its side. That is probably the worst fishing lure I've ever seen. And After I, the I didn't, Poundland lures. No, I'd include the Poundland lures in that. I've got, you've got more chance of catching a fish on a Poundland lure than on that thing. Mm, I don't know. At least that one looks all right. <sighs> don't know about that. But anyway, that was the first part of the day. Second part of the day, wasn't it nice to just do some pike fishing? It was lovely. It was lovely. Although the wind conditions, oh my God, well, that's, howling. That's, that's what's pushed us off in the end, isn't it? That wind just got way too much. It was starting to churn the water up. The yeah. water went from moderately clear to really coloured. It was horrible. So we've actually probably called it a day 45 minutes before we thought we were going to. And it's just cold. Yeah, but four fish couple yeah, lost, couple yeah, missed. Really, really well, well, I think the thing between us, we've done all right. I think with a bit more luck, you'd have had just as many fish as I did today. With a bit of luck, if I learned how to strike properly, I could have had four fish today, but I haven't, so there goes that. To be fair, I'm not I'm not that fast, like, I'm, at least, like, I had a take. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it wasn't like I went out there, I spent all day, and I haven't even seen a fish, or felt a take or anything like that. You've so done the hard I, bit. I knew that what I was doing, whatever I was doing, something was working, so I'm happy with that. Well, on the strip sets of being happy with that, I'm pretty happy with the day's work full stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. If you complain about the amount of fish <laughs> you have today, you might be walking home right now. <laughs> guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Uh, I think we've enjoyed making this one, haven't we? It's been Definitely. quite fun just to get out and do some pike fishing. If you have, please give it the old thumbs up just below. All the likes are a lot of fun. We like those. If you'd subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. The subs keep ticking over, yeah, don't they? It's yeah, kind of getting there now. Over. We're quite proud of our little channel. Uh, and keep in touch with us. Drop us some comments. Let us know what we did wrong. Let us know if you guys have used any Amazon lures that have been either brilliant or terrible like Not ours. Really bad. Even drop us some links if you want. We'll give them a go. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.